Hello to the gamers. I know a lot of people not having fun this weekly because of the um, the suffocating presence of Leech Camel. <laughs> I'm having a great time, especially, but not exclusively, when I get Leech Camel. Now, it, I don't know why the game is so framey. Just give me a second here. It's better now? What if I go like this? Okay, it looks good. Sorry, Tomo. I didn't mean to scare you. I didn't mean to scare you. I'll be like a smooth sausage. Lots of great names there. Hi, Tomo. Do you want to you, you, you get petted, it seems? So there's nothing wrong with wanting to get petted. It's a natural mammalian instinct, I suppose. Maybe it's not even limited to mammals. I don't know when it shows up in the evolutionary record. Ooh, but I do like this. Yes, I do. Now, I don't know uh, how long we're going to get use out of that honey, but I think it was probably the best option available. And I'm immediately thinking about actually maybe, maybe having the opportunity to have like two silk moths might have been substantially more useful. But here's the thing. It's hard to make a wrong decision when you're presented with two great options. Ho oh, ho, speaking of. <laughs> two great options. Don't, th three great options, don't mind if I do. How about sell me, buy me, buy me, buy me. Um, we're gonna run a salamander, like a semi at the back here. It's not fully at the back, but I think it's the right way and we're looking for start of battles. And let me tell you, you probably don't need me to tell you, but let me tell you another salamander would go crazy right now. I'm not gonna be an idiot, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and, and lie to you and be like, see, I'm not like those other guys. I don't run uh, leech camel. I just run salamanders, like as if the second, like people always, it, it annoyed me people would do that in like uh, Hearthstone. They'd be like, I'm not running uh, the, the tier zero deck. I'm running a tier zero plus deck. Instead of running the, the deck that would make me feel bad about myself that has a 71% win rate, I'm running the second best deck, which has a 70.6% win rate. And they would act like they're like a, doing an act of charity or something like that. I like to win. And in most games, I don't even sniff at winning. When I get the opportunity to, to get some dubs and Salamander is a way to do that, I, I take you up on it, I do. And we've already got a level two salamander incoming. Um, we could level the frilled dragon. There's like a one or two gold opportunity cost associated with it. And I apologize, I, I will not be crunching the numbers. But it's just like, you know, instant. Pardon me, we could be selling level ones instead of buying uh, to get to the level two. But we'll see. You're also a start of battle. If I buy, I, I think, you know what? I could do a buy, buy. See what you get on the level. I'm not interested in a parrot, but I appreciate what you're doing here. And then sell me, and then run a whale that eats a an ant, and then it'll spit out a level one ant afterwards. And we're really, I mean, at this point, our salamander is insane. And the fact that it hit level two early is crazy. We just need a lollipop and then kind of keep business as usual. I mean, I, don't, I could be wrong. I don't see us losing this one, though. Hi, Tomo. Hi, buddy. How you feeling? How's it going? Are you flowing? Give me one of these, of course. No lollipop yet. Shh, no start of battles either. I'm not really interested in an ant leveling. We have a start of battle. You can go. Obviously, you're not doing anything. And then... I don't think we necessarily... Oh, there is a lollipop, though. Hang on. My mistake. I almost almost made a grievous error there. Um, and actually, this the crab is going to be like a 316. St well, it's going to be dead, actually. But if it weren't dead, it would be a 316. Um, they've soul-read me. They have read my soul. And they've broken my soul. I am not Beyonce. You can break my soul. And you just did it. I don't think we're that interested here, honestly. Now, we're not interested in you, really, either. I don't think you need meat. I think we're better off with, like, some economy. We'll put a lemon on you later. That's Tomo. Hi, Tomo. We're looking for more start of battles, please. No offense to you, but I will... I think that's just better. 
I don't really want a second one. I would love to have, I was just like, it, it shouldn't be so hard to get started battle effects. But I think Econ can go kind of pog crazy this week. We don't have swans, but like, I can't even see what's happening because the cat is is right in front of the, the monitor. Hey buddy, hi, hi, hi. You know what we got? We got like a, it, it's a May-December romance. Is that what it's called? It's when like, uh, you know, there's an age gap in the relationship, except ours is just a clock gap. I want to be affectionate with Tomo before bed. He wants to be affectionate during my work hours. Excuse me, excuse me, he stepped on the keyboard, man. You're going crazy. Here, sit, sit on my lap. You don't see this too often. These, he must have had a hard day. Tomo, come here. <laughs> you see, he's smacking my hand. Here, buddy, come sit on my lap. You don't have to be scared. It's okay. I, I can't access my mouse, though. Oh, what a good buddy. What a good buddy you are. I know this is not, like, engaging content. Maybe this will be the most liked Super Auto Pets video in, like, six months. But... <laughs> Okay, buddy, I gotta do some more work, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put you down. He, he basically just, he said, if you're gonna put, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you didn't have to jump. <laughs> anyway, um, how about one of these, one of these? Sell me, buy me, start a battle me. New start of battle. You do have a hurt trigger that's kind of like irrelevant um, when you consider I would actually like sell you buy you because it's not like we're getting value out of the silk moth anyway. We're just we're using our economy to try to preserve our station. We're gonna be rolling. We're gonna be buying and selling. Like, you know, I think this is stuff that makes our win condition more likely to happen. I see that they're gonna have like a slug set up here. I'm glad I got the opportunity to at least pick up some extra HP because this guy's gonna spit out a slug. That's gonna spit out a slug. That's gonna spit out a slug. We're probably still dying. Well, yeah, no, we're definitely still dying. And it's not even to leech camel. Really makes you think. Um, you could spit out a level two armadillo, but I think we, we snooze that a bit. I think we like this, and then a sail, and then this. Hi, Tomo. Tomo, it's, listen. Go behind the monitor. After this video, I'll give you some pets, okay, buddy? I promise. You can't, I don't feel good about being like, get out of here, but. Listen, I'm, I'm cooking right now, okay? I think we can do this. He's still here, by the way. I'm still petting him with my other hand. Um, level three salamander at least means, you know, one more lollipop plus uh, a couple of units bot gives us a 50-50 and then we can put a lemon on it and feel pretty solid, I think. We don't have like an unbeatable team, but I think our team's pretty good. <coughs> then again, dude, so is theirs. So you, you can't be in front of the monitor, my man. It's just, it's getting to the point of, of absurdity. I'll take my win. I, I actually did not think we were going to clear him there. Give me this. We're looking for lollipops. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. I guess we'd rather get the 50-50 before we get a lollipop. Hmm. S sell me. I would, I would throw you down as a buy me. And then I think we're looking. I don't really need you. Beluga kind of goes crazy. Like if we can get a beluga that spits out like a level two eagle or a level two orca. In, insane technology. I'm, I'm very impressed with your technology here. I, I think I would be all over that. Hang on, my armadillo. We lose this, too. We do lose this, too. These teams are going insane. I can't handle it, man. He's just looking at me with those with those puppy dog eyes. Give me this. Give me this. Mm, not that interested in these. Very interested in this. Roll me. I would rather have an orca just because the orca could also spit out an eagle. But then we have to work on our positioning a little bit. So, like, you go here. Do we need anything out of the tiger? If anything, we'd like to have, like, a snake maybe behind the salamander. We may not get to 10 on this one. 
But we'll get some funny interactions with the Orca, probably. Hang on, maybe not. Come on, come on, spit out something good. Sheep and ant? You're supposed to spit out a level two eagle. He's clicking on stuff, he's clicking on stuff. <clears throat> it's still a loss. That, that penguin is really strong. Okay, we're on lethal. We should have just gone straight for the eagle, man, instead of the... Instead of taking the orca and hoping that an eagle shows up, you should take a melon in all likelihood. But we're gonna distill it down to brass tacks first. The thing is, I think if I have the whale swallow you, phrasing, you don't spit out anything else. Um, like the second beluga doesn't spit out anything else. So I think we're going to leave it like this, but I, I acknowledge, I'd, I'd say we're like a 50-50 shot to win this round. Which means more than I would like comes down to the, the Orca. Or, that's extremely unfortunate. Um, <laughs> we lose to the Eagle. Yeah, okay. I honestly, I think that we... We did great with the salamander and then completely neglected the rest of our team. That's fine. Let me back here. Can't really complain. It's not like we lost to a bunch of leech camels. Give, let me be a clumsy leg. How about that? He did the clumsy leg. Do the clumsy leg. Do the, do the move where you don't know where to put your hands. In. Do, do I put my hand? What do I do with my hands? You ever become in, insanely self-conscious of your hands when you're outside? Maybe insanely is not the right word. I think we're doing it like this. Like that and like this. I when at daycare pickup, I sometimes, you know, we're making small talk with the other parents. I'm not as weird as I'm making it out to be. Like it's not like I'm like, oh my god, I got home. Why was I doing that with my hands? What was I thinking? But sometimes we'll be having a conversation, I'll be listening to the other person, and then I'll be like, am I doing something weird with my hands? Why, why should I have my hands in my pockets like this? Or should I go cowboy style with the thumb in the pocket? Or should I go Lucky Luciano, you know? You know I had to do it to him. Or do I just leave my hands at, at my side like a robot? Or do I go like this? And then maybe they'll think like, oh, he's bored with what I'm saying. The hands, you should be able to put these guys away when you're not using them, you know? If you're not lifting something, you should be able to put them into sleep mode or something like that. Would love your thoughts on this. Okay, let's, let's try to redeem ourselves somewhat here. I don't know, a, a elephant, camel, something is kind of like the, the poor man's camel leech. You could even do elephant camel leech, I suppose, in the whole scheme of things. But one's the, one thing's for sure, if you're taking an elephant, you are hoping to get a camel at some point. You're sticking for a bit. Why don't you take some meat? I think swan kind of goes crazy this week, too. I would sell an ant to get a prospective swan out there. The, the downside of this is that it doesn't do well. Like, the, the possum and thus our team will do badly against teams that are still running silk moths. Such as, and, uh, well, you get the rest. <laughs> Hang on, though. We still managed to eke out a draw against a team that, that cleared us with type advantage. It's not what we're looking for. None of this is what we're looking for. Lettuce is not horrendous. Never mind. I forgot Elephant was a tier two. I think we have to dump Seahorse and take, like, a Dolphin. In all, like, well, actually, I would take a hatching chick and say, forget the dolphin for now. It's just the, the melon armor plus hatching chick is, is a very, it's a, a hard thing to ignore right now. Never mind. <laughs> we should have ignored it. Well, we still draw, but we have a team that's supposed to be peaking right now. We're basically, we're, we're hoping that maybe at some point, Like uh, we we get an early scaler maybe on our next level that would be that would be one way I think we got to say no to the giraffe lettuce me for now I know it's just a it's basically just a salad but what is a salad except lettuce 
I gotta tell you, I'm not, this is not me just trying to talk you into getting a Costco membership, okay? I don't get like a cut from Costco. I've been making salads for lunch. The green base is essentially irrelevant. I'm using some kind of lettuce, cress mix. There's some greens in there I don't even understand. Feta cheese, pre-crumbled feta cheese, cause you're, I mean, you're worth it, baby. Salad topper, which is like sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, cranberries, just salt bay the crap out of it. Olive garden, pre-mixed Italian dressing. Ooh, I could taste it right now. Mostly because I had it for lunch just like a couple of minutes ago, but. I'm going crazy. Give me some, give me some permanent scaling. This would go, I'm sorry to my swan, but this goes hard as well. We gotta figure out, oh, you know, well, I know what we must do. I know what we must do. Elephant at the front, dude, I hate to sell the possum, but at least it is giving us buff to the armadillo. And we run it like that, but now we only have one tier two, so the penguin was not like such a huge get for us, but still, but still. The ox is well worth the buff. The elephant is important. The armadillo, could, I've seen elephant armadillo kind of go off this week. Even if it only gets a couple of triggers, or, or one trigger, <laughs> as the case may be, I suppose. Oh, I don't know, because you spit out a, a groundhog. Yes, okay. Well, we definitely lose this one, but I think it's a loss in service of a greater team in the future, I hope. Copium, I hope. Can definitely do a lettuce here. I would be content to throw another one of these on top. Next round is where chocolate shows up. Probably start to unwind the ox, level your armadillo, and then hope to level your scalers. Huge. Give me more, give me more. Ooh, give me more, give me more. That uh, doesn't quite get me there, but still, it was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Was it even pretty good? Yes, it was good enough, okay. So that's what we're looking for, big HP. And you know what's got me thinking? On a sniperless team, you gotta take this early, man. There's no, there's no other way around it. It's the scaling power is crazy, and now I know we've got three scalers for the record. I know this. Oh, another dragonfly. Literally just better than you right now. That may change in the future, but now if we could get some grapes, we got a, we got a shot in this one. I think. But it all, I was also going to mention, I think like a scorpion could kind of go crazy. We will, like, we're in a vulnerable period right now. That should be obvious based on how badly we're losing this game. But they, they, I was content to do this because we had 4 HP. So we can afford to backslide a little bit on the road to greatness. I'm buying grapes. Of course I'm buying grapes. We got a bird of paradise. Sure. I know we need chocolate as well, but we don't have to get chocolate. We could just get the matches in the shop for the first time ever. We need a bird of paradise to level, hopefully soon. But we're we're already we're getting somewhere. Oh no! I see a I see a tree frog. I did not live. Lemon on the elephant. Perhaps slightly counterintuitive, but seems like it makes more sense to me than lemon on the armadillo. Notice I said counterintuitive, not incorrect. <laughs> eh, not yet. Roll me, just see if you get, well, even if we got a chocolate, we wouldn't use it right away. So I think that's peak, peak investment right there. Sure, very nice. Stegosaurus could buff an armadillo, admittedly. But we really need to buff the elephant more than anything else. The armadillo is probably gonna be fine. Very important. Thought about the melon, too. I mean, it was, we're going all in on trying to make this bird of paradise work. And we might have bit off more than we can chew. Every single one of these teams looks insanely scary to me. They're also all running dolphins, which is driving me crazy. <laughs> Excuse me, please don't replace my... Um, my lemon with honey. It's highly disrespectful. Well, this went extremely well. That was very positive. And every round we survive is a huge dub for us. I do hate to combine two units that... Uh, I'm trying to get you to level two before you pay out. One more, one more roll. 
you're not getting a level two before you pay out, you piece of junk. Okay, still good. I think you can run the scorpion. The whole scorpion thing is just that I feel like if we get a bunch of triggers on our scorpion, or on our armadillo, the scorpion, I'm not expecting it to four for one. If it doesn't get sniped, it could two for one. Okay, that you, you went crazy on this one. I'm giving you kudos, I'm giving you props. We're on lethal. Please don't shuffle my squad anymore, okay? So I get for playing this game on a freaking Thursday. Okay, take one of these. We don't need to buy this yet. Is there anything that would be more useful? Yeah, probably a lemon on an armadillo just in case. I was gonna say, I mean, even a one-up on an armadillo. And if we live through this round, then we can talk about these, these melons. The melons in the game. Trying to take me out of context. Level three, Badger? Why? <laughs> On what grounds? Well, we can't get over you. So you're gonna win this one. But my team looked cooler. And in the modern world of Super Auto Pets, where we've seen every team, a novel team, it's worth more than a 10 piece, I would say. I would say it's worth approximately six wins in and of itself. Let me be, um, let me be about an overexcited programmer. Like people saying that chat GPT-4 has already put people out of a job, and then you ask chat GPT-4, what month comes after uh, February? And it says, Marchuary. Anyway, listen, I'm not knocking it. For all I know, it could take my job one day. But right now, Always Online Seinfeld has like 500 viewers, and, and the handcrafted artisan, 10,000 hours, Malcolm Gladwell in the crucible, locked in his little, his old uh, storage closet, grinding out Binding of Isaac, Toastmasters improv. <laughs> more than 500, that's all I'm, I'm not trying to be a hater, I'm just saying more than 500. Can I tell you, I think it's a landmark day as well. It's March 23rd today. Know where you were. It's March 23rd. I think it's the first day of the year. I have to put my fan on a little bit. Because just being honest with you, it's a great team, by the way. It's getting a little warm in here. Now, I am wearing a hoodie, but it's hoodie season. It's, it's late March. We're still in hoodie season. I can go hoodie and then maybe like level three on the fan. That's, that's not level three. That's level three. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That's, I'm feel, oh, that's a nice breeze. And I'm feeling, da -na, da -na, da -na. You know what I'm saying, Michael Buble fans? Birds flying high. You know how I feels. It's a mafia henchman singing it now. Call me as crazy as you like to call me. I'm okay losing this round or having the chance to lose this round in order to buff the salamander a little bit more. And rest assured, by the way, I did think about the possibility of um, goldfish. The thing is, you'd, in order to make goldfish work for this team, I'll admit we're doing a lot of buying and selling. But we would want to make sure, that was great luck for us, that the buying, the units we wanted to buy, which had start of battle effects, were always located on the left, which is not a, a, a thing that's easy to guarantee. I think for now, you should go. And, I mean, this is, just, just being real with you, this is a really good looking squad right here. Lollipops show up pretty soon, that's a start of battle. Salamander's big. You could be mad if you want. All I'm gonna say is that you shouldn't be too mad about... Oh, this is, I'm mad about this one. Like Paul Reiser was mad about Helen Hunt. I don't know, I haven't seen the show in a long time. They seem to be very upset based on the title, though. Um, you should go. You should go. You should come out here and give a nice buff. You should come out here. Um, you could be mad if you want. I don't control that. All I'm gonna say is that, like... You shouldn't be too mad, because at least this is not Leech Camel. Like, Leech Camel is the, is the suffocating meta this week. Salamander is just 
I mean, A, it's consistent, which is admittedly annoying if you're up against it. But B, it, I think we've also gotten better than average shop luck. See, I call it out when I see it. We've been getting a lot of salamanders at like exactly the right time. I would sell you. I would buy you. I would sell you. I would buy you. I would roll. Honestly, I would sell you and I would buy you. Not all five squads clear four squads, okay? And this salamander is is ready for a uh, is ready for a lollipop, man. Beautiful. We're we're still winning too. When you're winning with the with the spot open on your squad, you're feeling great. It's a beautiful level. I think you kind of have to take a moose, especially knowing we're going to be buying a lot of tier ones. Roll me once. You give me a second tier one, you piece of junk. <laughs> okay, buy me. Or maybe, no, you have to buy me first to give me the buff. And then sell me, roll me. Okay, but they, you know, some of you might say it was worth the shot. I'm not sure I agree. I think we go moose at the front, then ox, and then you with the buff. And the, everything's going to get unfrozen anyway. I don't know why I froze the platypus. Really need that lollipop. But I, technically, if we're still winning, the later we could buy the lollipop, the better, because then we're like only using one lollipop. Oh, you have seven HP, you're a genius! No, you're gonna summon a one-one dog and ruin, no, we, okay, that's, a draw was, I'm over the moon, I'm overjoyed. We love that for us, this is good enough, good enough. I mean, this is good enough to just have the buff and maybe we could sell the hatching chick. I recognize what it's giving us, but... And then, honestly, you just keep it on the squad and you, you forfeit one gold to the ether. Thank you for not buffing the, um, the frilled dragon. I really appreciate that. I mean, you did me a real solid there, Moose. Now, it's always a vulnerable round when you unwind a, um, your hatching chick. Not surprised on this one at all. Still feeling like we're in a secure position. Would like at some point in my life to see a lollipop, but I know it's a lot to ask. Get like really like to see a lollipop. <laughs> like, we also should have been freezing these the whole time. Um, honestly, roll once and then pray. No, oh, this is a great get for us in terms of the buff, but um, we are still. Thank you. We're, I, I just appreciate the HP. We're still waiting. Once that lollipop comes out, the rest of the run can can start to shine. But I think we're going to be a little behind the eight ball. As you, as you can see, their salamander and their moose, and like a lot of their squad is a lot better than what I got going on right here. Even rearranging our squad, we, we lose that easy. I'm sorry to say. Okay, this is good. Lollipop, thank you so much. I was hoping to find maybe some starts of battle, but that's okay. I think we just need to hold off on the chili pepper and just get you a lemon instead. Did I not give anybody chocolate? Am I? Oh, because everything gets unfrozen anyway. You can go. Uh, both of you can go to give us starts of battle. You need a lemon, even with what you got right now. I know, I know we need starts of battle as well. I'm, I'm a little upset, honestly, because I feel like... Why did I... I didn't even freeze enough stuff at the shop. You give it a 2-2 buff. It's all falling apart. <laughs> give me some starts of battle. Hang on. The scorpion's going to die at, like, the right time. It's a great time for us to have a lemon and uh, way more HP than attack. Okay, may I'm not upset anymore. Freeze your fours. I know we still need starts of battle, so it's like, we're doing what we can. You're not a start of battle. I like you, but you're not a start of battle. I guess we're just hoping for, like, chocolates? I think, we, I think we're leaning not even close to hard enough on the, on the salamander here. We gotta still get some salamander buffs. But in order for salamander buffs to work, you need to give me some freaking starts of battle, dude. You need to give me some starts of battle! Okay, freeze me, freeze me. We can't even freeze a chocolate now that I think of it. So what's the point? Roll me once. You gave me a tier three. I'm going to cry. At least, I mean, like, we're still getting some scaling, but 
<laughs> it's, I have nobody to blame but myself, and yet I find myself really wanting to blame somebody else. It's messed up. This is the most painful loss of my Super Auto Pets career. We lost to a giraffe. This is a very important unit. Starts a battle, maybe? They, starts a battle doesn't exist, so don't waste your time. I'm sorry. I'm so well, what do we get? Six attack? Okay. Selling a penguin for a crab, I'll call that worth six attack. And then I'm selling my crab but not re-rolling because I don't want the crab to get buffed by the moose. We may squeeze out of this one. The perfect... Oh, I think we lose for sure. The perfect addition to this squad is a, um, is a Stegosaurus. But yeah, we kind of just crapped the bed, honestly. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. See ya!